I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. How to draw friendly ice cream. Art with Miss A. All right, the first thing we're going to do is get a piece of blank white paper and fold it in half, matching the corners and pressing down to make a crease down the middle. Flip it over so the crease is right there and we're going to do it horizontally today. Get your materials, a pencil, a black pen, and an eraser. All right, now that we have two sections, one for our popsicle and the other one for our ice cream cone. Then on the left side, we're going to make our popsicle the right side, our ice cream cone. So the first one being that we're going to do our popsicle, we're gonna get our pencil and we're gonna start breaking it down into simple shapes. The first shape you're going to make kind of at the top of the paper, not too far up, but a little bit about an inch down, you're gonna draw a big hill, kind of like an upside down U shape from the center of the paper going up and giving yourself a little room at the top and coming back down. This will be the top of our popsicle. The next line we're going to do is going to be a wavy line, kind of like the ocean waves that go up and down and you can practice making that line and it's going to go from side to side matching up those two lines so here i am practicing just so i know how i'm going to make that line and i'm going to take my pencil and put it on the edge of my hill and go up and down and up and down and up and down till i meet that other point good job All right, so the next line we're going to do is we're gonna bring a short line coming down on either side of our popsicle. And we're going to draw, I would say about an inch line coming down. And then we're just going to meet those two lines up by drawing a straight line across. And that is the bottom of our popsicle. I gave the lines just a little bit of curve because my popsicle is going to have curved edges. Good job. Now it's time to draw the stick to our popsicle. And that's going to go right in the center of your popsicle. And the way to find the center is take your fingers and put one finger on one edge and your thumb on the other. And when they meet, that is the middle of your popsicle. You put a little dot there or a line to remind yourself where that is. And that is where you're going to draw your popsicle stick. So here I'm making a little line so I know where the middle is. And then I'm going to make a stick going down and drawing a loop. You will notice that that dot or line I drew is in the middle of my stick. So you're gonna move over to the side a little bit and go down and around. Now I'm going to give my popsicle a little bit of depth by drawing some lines on it that are curved at the top and then go straight down. And I made two of these going, circling around and down, kind of like a candy cane. So you're gonna make two candy cane lines that go around and down and that makes it look like the popsicle is not flat and it gives it a little bit dimension meaning it looks like it's going to come off the paper now let's give our popsicle a little happy face i am going to draw some oval eyes that are symmetrical meaning equal and the same on either side of that lower section of my popsicle you can make whatever eyes you want and use your creative side. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's time to give your popsicle a little smile. And that's just a line that isn't straight, kind of curved. Ta-da! Good job. All right, now it is time to make our ice cream cone. And we're gonna make a three scooped ice cream cone. So we wanna make sure we have enough room for the cone and the ice cream. So I'm looking at my piece of paper and I'm kind of eyeballing, meaning I'm looking at where I'm gonna place everything so that I have enough room when I'm drawing. I'm looking at where my cone will go and my ice cream. And I think that I'll make my triangle cone about the middle of the paper coming down. And we all know how to draw a triangle. This is a very long triangle. So it's a narrow long triangle with our lines starting from the middle of the paper going down, leaving about, I'd say about an inch at the bottom of our paper and then coming back up. And then we're gonna meet those two lines across. After I made my straight line across, I realized that the left side was a little longer. That's okay. I'm just going to get my eraser and erase that extra line. All right, good job. Now I'm ready to make my ice cream. The first ice cream I'm going to make is going to look like a cloud on top of my cone. And that's making wavy lines that meet on one side and go around and finish at the other side of our cone. Now I'm making my second scoop, making it a little smaller and in the middle of my ice cream. And then my last ice cream is gonna kinda be on the edge coming from the second and then going down to the third. That way it looks like it's kinda melting off the top of the ice cream. Now I'm going to give my cones some texture and some pattern. And then we're gonna make diagonal lines that are parallel to the edge, meaning the same uh, angle. And you're just gonna make rows of lines going one way, then you're going to go make rows of lines going the other way. This is making that cone look like it's got texture on it. All right, now we need to give our ice cream cone a friendly face and I'm making two symmetrical ovals and um, another smile face right in the middle. And now I'm all done, good job. You can make whatever face you want on yours, of course, using your creative side. Now we're gonna get our black uh, Sharpie uh, felt tip pen and I'm going to trace all of those pencil lines that I had made and give my uh, popsicle and my ice cream cones some nice uh, sharp edges. Good job. Now it's time to erase all those pencil lines and getting out my eraser. I am erasing anything I can see as far as the pencils to clean it all up so I can get ready to put color on both of them. All right. So now it's your choice. Do you want to use color crayons? Do you want to use pencil, colored pencils? 
or do you want to use felt tip pens it's up to you what you want to do to color or if you want to be ambitious you could even do watercolors today I am going to be using some colored pencils and I'm going to just color staying in the lines all of my shapes and I'm using some red for my ice cream I love coloring because it allows me to use my creative side, picking colors I like. Here I'm doing a red, green, and yellow ice cream, and I'm staying in the lines. I used a little bit of uh, space between the eyes, leaving some white. I like that detail and around the mouth. And I'm using pencils for my ice cream. And when I get to the middle ice cream, I'm going to leave a little bit of uh, white by making rectangles all over my ice cream and then coloring around those rectangles. That way I have some white rectangle spaces and in those spaces I'm going to add some details of what looks like some chocolate chips poking through the ice cream. And now here I'm using a brown pencil and by taking your pencil and kind of going on an angle using the side of the tip of the pencil you can cover more area of the cone. If I colored with just the tip it would be a lot harder but if I move my pencil to the side it allows me to cover more space. Now on my popsicle I decided to use color crayons to color in uh, my uh, my picture and here I'm using pink for my first top part of my ice cream and I'm going to do my um, stick in brown and now I'm thinking about the face I think I'm going to do blue leaving a little bit of white around the eyes I like that ta-da there we go there's a popsicle and ice cream ready for summer I put them on my refrigerator. Ta-da! So have a wonderful summer. Stay safe. And remember, if you can imagine it, you can make it, and you can change your world. Bye for now.